Hello everybody. It is Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. I am in the Garment District of Manhattan. The temperature is 39 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius. And here is a new art installation on Broadway between 39th Street and 40th Street. This piece of art is named Prismatica and it is a series of about 24 prisms, I think, that you can actually spin around and get some cool shots. Oh wow, that was one right there. Look at that. You get shots like that. You get some nice selfies like this one. I wonder how it looks like on an actual selfie. Mmm, doesn't really look that good. You gotta take it with the rear camera. But this is gonna be here until the end of the month, I believe. Prismatica is an installation comprised of pivoting prisms more than two meters tall. spin it. I wonder how much it could spin. Oh, it even makes noise too. It sounds like wind chimes. What about the other way? Oh, because they have wind chimes down there. That makes sense. Do they all have the same sounds? This person setting up their phone right at the base, trying to get some different angles. Also, because this display is called Prismatica, I even have my own prison with me. I could try uh, using my own prism on the pivoting prisms using the prism software, right? So you're watching Prismatica on Prism Live with another. Last prism, Lena Z. Thank you so much for 229. It's prism, prismception. Here we go, prism on prism, looking at pris, prismatica. That is cool. Let's walk like this and see how much stuff we can get. Oops, I just uh, touched the gimbal. I gotta re reset it again. Let's find the right angle. What about if we just do it from here? What'll happen? It really depends, like... Ooh, that looks cool. All right, we gotta walk like this and see what happens. Voila! That was kind of funny. It was like, ah, uh, let's turn it around. Hello! All right. What colors they got? They got green. Ow, man. 
you don't got to have a horn that loud on Broadway. This is purple and orange and blue-green. I really like this new art installation. It's going to be here until the end of January. Let's go up here. I think there was some more artwork or uh, descriptions, I should say. Wow, look at this. You can even see other people in the reflection. It's like... Eshna, Hazel, are these temporary or they're there permanently? Until the end of January, I think. And um, I think they also had them in Montreal and then they had them in Niagara Falls and then that now it's here. So you got a nice view of me on this prism. Oh, this is not uh, information on Prismatica. I think the other stuff is down there. Yeah, it doesn't say here when it's going to end, but I think I read the article. It said the end of January. Laurie W, is this a new display? Yes, it is. It's in Manhattan's Garment District between 40th Street and 39th Street on Broadway. I like this purple hue. Oh wow, now it's blue. And now it's green, what? Whoa. Where did that dog come from? It came from behind the prism. All right. Let's continue on this walk. Christy's saying it looks great at night. It has a different vibe each time you go. During the morning and early afternoon, you have different uh, strikes of sunlight going towards the prisons, but at night, it creates more of an ambient setting. But my plan for this live stream today is to explore this part of Manhattan and even head towards Hudson Yards. Hopefully the decorations are still up on Hudson Yards before they take them down. All right. Maybe I'll even, I'll even head through Moynihan Train Hall and try to live stream through there. I know the, um, the dead spots in that building. Super friends in the city asking, how am I? I'm doing great today. It's not too cold. And I'm enjoying the new art installation as well as 
enjoying all the scenery around New York City. But I'm headed down Broadway now to Harold Square area. No self saying the vessel is closed indefinitely. I was just about to get to that when I got to Hudson Yards. But that's because uh, it's attracting people who, who are using it to commit suicide, which is very, very depressing. So they want to reopen the vessel when it's safe and they have some suicide prevention measures on that structure. But yes, it's closed indefinitely until they decide to reopen it again. I always had a feeling that the vessel would have that kind of incidence throughout its history because the first time I went up there, I was kind of wondering to myself, gosh, these barriers are like awfully low. Some, someone could have an accident or get pushed over really easily because the barrier only went up to like shoulder height for most people. But now they gotta put something up there like glass or plastic, something to prevent people from falling off. Unfortunately, it's gonna detract from the view and the aesthetics probably, but that's what happens. At least I got to experience the vessel while it was still more open, I guess. So this is 37th Street and Broadway. Figueroa, thank you so much for the two bucks. Laurie asking if I'll be posting a video on my trip getting to Staten Island yesterday. I won't be posting a video getting there. I didn't record that, but while I was on the island, I'll post that video up soon. C. Prouse, thank you so much for the 99 cents. Leo Fit asking who sells the best donuts on Broadway. Um, there's a donut shop near the East Village that's really good on Broadway. I forget exactly what street it is, but it's near uh, NYU. Gurgaon, I am heading away from Times Square. I'm going to Carroll Square now. Cash time video, thank you for the five pounds. And Frederick Bianco with 499, thank you so much. Quite a lot of traffic here right now. Almost got hit by a plant. These are a little bit hard to see. Alan Delaney, Delaney asking if I've considered a visit to Leftwich Garden, Brooklyn, in, uh, 
Lefferts Garden in Brooklyn. It's a beautiful Caribbean neighborhood. I'll go there eventually. I don't know when I will, but we'll see. Jan Tulsma, thank you for the two euro. Here is Macy's Herald Square. They took down all of the decorations. No more Christmas decorations. Any cars coming? Nope. Now instead of the thank you holiday windows, they have Happy New Year, Love, Give, Believe, and Hope. Twenty twenty one, Happy New Year, Love, Give, Believe, and Hope. All the windows have the same ones. Uh, Roseby, I have some videos of Riverdale already. You can check my history. All right, I'm going to have to mute it. There's some group here playing some music. Past all the music now. Oh, uh, here we go again. I should have left it on. Thank you, Jack Shikoff, with 40 rubles. Appreciate it. an awfully a lot of street vendors here looks like this person selling face mask sanitizer a mini Nintendo game system, hats, sunglasses. Is it legal to sell things on the streets? It was right next to the police cars. Only legal if you have permission from the city and the police enforce the law. So I'll leave it at that. There's a lot of illegal vendors who have set up that do not have the right paperwork, but the cops do not enforce it, so... A lot of times they leave the vendors alone and then I've seen times where cops go up to the vendor and then they confiscate all their stuff.
okay? Jane 13 saying those vendors can't possibly make much money. It's also harder for them because now there's not as many people coming to New York City. Wow, so much music here along 34th Street. I don't think I'm gonna stay here much longer because I got music from street vendors playing and storefronts. So, what I actually want to do is going to uh, Penn Station, the actual underground Penn Station area. and then head over to the new Penn Station. So we're heading to the old Penn Station right now, which is right underneath Madison Square Garden. There's also a brand new entrance to it on 7th Avenue and 33rd Street. We're going to go in there. You know, my camera was zoomed in the entire time and I didn't even know it. I was like this. So this is much better. All right, now that we got the camera fixed, we can continue. I kind of noticed it because I noticed the camera all fuzzy. New artwork, folks. This is a map of New York City from I don't know when, but. Looks like over there is Rockaway, JFK Airport, Brooklyn, Queens. This is Manhattan over here. That's the Bronx. Where's Staten Island? They left out Staten Island. Staten Island should be here. Just a little blip. And then you have uh, more of the Bronx. That's Westchester up there. New Jersey over here. Let's go back up the escalator again. I want to notice all this intricacies of this map. Hudson River. There's the Harlem River. East River, Roosevelt Island, Rikers Island. Yeah, they left out Staten Island. That's not right. But I was there yesterday. I got plenty of video in Staten Island, so. All right, I guess we're gonna take the escalator down again. For your children's safety, do not allow them to play on or near the escalator. Welcome to the Walmart Railroad. 
for your safety and the safety of others. A mask or face covering is required in stations and on yeah. board trains. Oh, I forgot this. This is Manhattan Please Beach, Pony Island, off. Seagate. Baby strollers, push carts, and pull carts are not No, wait, that's not a uh, Pony Island. That's uh, that's Long Beach, Long Beach, Rockaway, and uh, Pony Islands over here. You know, I gotta go again because I missed out Long Island. This is the most I ever rode the escalator ever. All right, so now that I know this is Long Beach, we got uh, Oceanside over here, Massapequa. Probably Hempstead is somewhere over there. Uh, this is this is Fire Island over here. That's Jones Beach over here. Um, probably Rockville Center is like somewhere over here. Yeah, that's Long Island. All right, I'm getting tired of this escalator now. All right, let's ride the escalator again. Do not allow children to ride the escalator. Welcome to the Long Island Railroad. For your safety, hold the handrail. Mask or face cover is required. Yeah. I could dance this all day. Please watch your step getting on and off the escalator. Yeah. All right. Back down now. Okay. Here's the ugly Penn Station that everyone hates. No self saying go back up. I think you missed something. I missed a lot of stuff, but I don't want to deal with the escalators again. I already got buggered by it. This is a totally different experience than Moynihan Train Hall, the old Penn Station. Track 17 is boarding, so these people are all going to walk over there. Port Jefferson train. I'm actually going to go down track 18 just so you can see down, see all these people going down. Here comes the Port Jefferson train. No way, it's not. This is Penn Station now. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm outside now. I should definitely have service. Why is the live stream look like it still suck? Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Penn Station has so much signal issues. That's why I don't like to go inside buildings because service is spotty enough as it is. All right, I'm just gonna wait here for about three, four minutes 
until people reconnect again because I know we probably dropped a lot of people. But anyway, I rushed to get outside to get a signal so I wasn't going to end the stream. But if you want to see the, a video of Penn Station, I have a video on my channel already of the old Penn Station. But I'm about to go across the street to the Moynihan train hall. But for future reference, I'm not going into Penn Station anymore down to the tracks at least. <laughs> Looks like the sun is almost down now. You know I'm getting I had a message that said internet connection unstable right now and meanwhile I'm outside so I don't even know what the deal with that is. Alright just so I don't have as many signal issues while I'm across the street, let me connect to a hotspot. This should boost the signal up a little bit, so I'm gonna have more issues later. Signal issues stink. It's a big problem. I have my personal hotspot set. Hopefully that makes a more reliable connection. I still have bad connection, all right. I'm just gonna wait outside until the connection stabilizes a little bit. Hudson Yards right behind the James Farley building and the Moynihan train hall. All right, the connection stabilized now, great. I thought I was gonna lose everybody inside the old Penn Station, but I'm glad I was able to recover from it. I got a super chat from Douglas O'Brien for two bucks, but it did not show up on the chat yet. I don't even know what's going on. It even looks like my screen is frozen.
I'm gonna put this down here. Hopefully the connection stabilizes again. Ashaba wants to let me know there's a bad connection by Madison Square Garden. All right. I actually loaded in my own live stream and it looks like it's working. Any quality issues on my side, so hopefully it stays like that. Okay. I'm not going in that side of Penn Station anymore. And even over here, I have to be very careful because once I go to the center of the train hall, all the glass and metal, I think, interferes with the signal as well. Peter Walsh with five pounds, just blame the weather for any wet connection issues. I don't think it's the weather. Gaspar is saying, why do I call it the old Penn Station? The old Penn Station is, um, actually it is the same Penn Station. This is just the extension, but I call it old Penn Station because that's the one that was already existing. Ian saying there's a nice mural on 8th Ave and 34th Street on the northeast side. Yeah, that's the um, Manhattan skyline. Actually, I'm not even sure if it's Manhattan. It's a skyscraper skyline. But hopefully we can go and check it out. So let's cross our fingers for no internet connection issues here. Ashaba is saying watch me all the time, but nothing you've commented before is something with all the wires and metal. It is. I won't be able to go into the center of this train hall because I have internet connection issues. This is as far as I'm going to go inside this train hall because once I go in there, I'm gonna lose service. Here it's even unstable. I gotta walk back. So I cannot go past here or I have bad connection. Maybe I can go around the perimeter here. I know where the good spot is for service, so I'll just head back here if I start having bad connection. Alright, I think I'm gonna wait here. It looks like the connection is stable over here. perimeter of it that way I have connection from the windows from the outside hopefully this does the trick and I don't have any connection issues Ian Garner the glass thing doesn't help the signal it does not 
does not at all. If I go in between there, it's a dead zone for cell phone service. As long as I walk around the perimeter and not in the middle, the signal is much better. Pamela is saying my connection was perfect when I did the video tour of the station. That was a pre-recorded video. I didn't need internet connection for that. Only to upload the video later. But this is the um, the mural or the artwork that people wanted to see. Morel asked me if this place is named after someone. It is after Daniel Moynihan, who is a senator, and he was the one who first put up the idea of moving some of Penn Station's operations into the adjacent James Farley building. So as a result, the train hall is named after him. Pretty nice. Hopefully I can get away with service when I go up here. I'm not gonna go downstairs because if I go downstairs, there's more steel and glass for the internet signals to go through. Over here is my best shot to get signal. Attention please. This is a boarding call for Amtrak to sell a train 2167 on route to Washington with intermediate stops at New all right, I think this section of the train hall is not bad. It's only the main hall that's spotty with service. Jeffrey is asking if this is the former post office. It is former post office building. But the post office is still here. You can walk through the train hall to get there. There still is a post office in this building. If you go straight ahead, the post office is still active. Here's the 33rd Street exit. Over here, there's some murals too. Reminds me a little bit of the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, the mural by Michelangelo. Looks like they're wearing Nikes. Maybe Nike sponsored part of the funding of this train hall. That's why they have the Nike swoosh on that person's shoe. Sponsored by, my, uh, by Nike. Welcome to our train hall. Amtrak personnel are located throughout the station to assist you. Please remain seated until the train is ready to leave. 
All right. Let's head toward Hudson Yards now. That's the Empire State Building. I want to go to Hudson Yards as well because I want to see what's going on with the vessel to permanently close it. If they have like barricades in front of the structure or what. It was only announced yesterday that it was going to be closed permanently. I think this structure over here is a skyscraper called Manhattan West. Unless it's the other side. And those ask why are they closing it? They're closing it because I think it was the day before yesterday there was a another suicide at the vessel structure. It's the third suicide since this opening. So as a with some suicide prevention measures. But it's sad. I always thought that was gonna be an issue when that structure opened because the railings are so low and I was very afraid that that might happen and now it did for the third time actually Oh, Mary, it was yesterday that someone jumped. Oh, no. Pablo is saying the girl left a delayed Instagram post. I think she did leave a delayed post. That was really sad. Actually, let's not go that way. I've been on 34th Street many a times, but over here, I haven't been. Mission has a good point about suicide. I mean, it's a very touchy subject now. Depression, mental issues ever since the start of COVID, it's really changed the world around. I've noticed there's more people with mental issues and dealing with depression than anything right now. And it's truly sad. Well, this doesn't look very enticing. We got scaffolding here and it looks dark. Take a look at this structure. This is a really unique style building. It's got steps all the way up.
You know what? I mentioned that that was the Manhattan West building, but maybe that is. This is also called Manhattan West. Five Manhattan West. coming from this machine. Dun 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 Hudson Yards is still open. Wait, I think you should come soon because we're already in the middle of January. I don't know when this is going to be taken down. straight to the vessel and see what they're doing there. Thomas asking if I charge the scooter for the next trip. Yep, all charged for the next trip wherever I'm going. It was fully charged this morning. It's definitely getting colder right now. The temperature dropped at least two degrees since I started this. Nightbot says it's 40 degrees now. When I started, it was 39. So maybe it's just the wind. It's permanently closed now. I remember going up to the wet vessel when it was very windy. You couldn't go past the uh, second or third floor because as you go up higher, the wind just gets worse. So they didn't let anybody go up to the higher floors. the edge at Hudson Yards. Yeah. 
Uh, let's go over there and check out the rest of the decorations as well as what they're doing with the vessel now. And look, that's nice to see. That was very nice. It looks like they have employees stationed at the vessel entrance to stop people from going up. I'm going to miss it when these all go down. I'm going to turn the camera around to face the vessel. We get to see it with all the lights. Liz is asking how much it costs to make the vessel. I'm not sure. You could probably look it up online, but as far as Hudson Yards goes, I think this is the single most expensive private development in history. It costs billions of dollars to make this place. jumping shot or maybe not well you got the jumping shot right this time Uno, dos, y tres. Did you miss it? Well, they even brought a dog here. Jimmy and Mary McSweeney saying it costs 200 million bucks for this vessel structure. It's a lot of money. No, I know, I trust me. I remember when we were walking when we were hiking. Got some more people taking pictures here.
That's a nice shot right here. If you want to get your shots in, you can still get them. I don't know how long this will stay up. And we got the Soul Cycle class. Only a few people here, but they're getting the sweat going. is open right now let's head over there oh my gosh This is so deceiving. I always knew this would be a problem. This is actually a pedestrian crossing and cars can come up here. There's a driveway. But because it's so nice here, people, they don't realize that it's a driveway and they walk across without looking. This safety officer here just yelled at someone for crossing to look out for the cars. Simon saying there's no markings that's true I mean it would help if they had like a crosswalk over here painted but all they have there is uh, some traffic cones that says stop and then over here they got some more traffic cones that says state law yield for pedestrians within the crosswalk but there really isn't a crosswalk here it's not painted white well it's a uh, white marble but there's no like stripes on it see here's a yellow cab let's see what happens here if people decide to cross look at this people are standing right there what's this is so stupid look at this It's like there was a group of like four or five people just standing where the taxi driver is driving right into and I think I heard the safety officer like get out of the way or something I don't think it's really a problem with the people because to me, it seems like it's a design flaw. They should mark it better and have like a traffic light there or something. Because the way it's set up now, it looks like you can just walk there and no drivers are gonna be there. It's really a fault of huts and yards and not the people. And meanwhile, the safety officer is like far away from it all. Maybe the safety officer should have been there, be like, hey, don't go. I gotta tell these people not to walk before you start driving. Da Quinn Bless saying, seems like the safety protocol was a fail for Hudson Yards. I mean, it's definitely an issue because you've got one thing, the vessel, they're closed because people have used it to jump and end their lives very unfortunately and then i remember like the first week or so after it opened there were still loose tiles on hudson yards and now we have this driveway situation so this is the high line at nighttime we'll go walk it it's been a while since i walked it going 
southbound. But we'll walk it all the way to Gansevoort Street. The last time I was here, I walked it during the daytime and I think I exited at 28th Street. Is this safe? I don't know. I remember when the High Line first reopened from COVID that it was one way only and you needed to make an appointment. But now they opened it two ways again. There's still a lot of places available to rent and buy here. Condominium residences at 515 West 29. Freddie, these are residential buildings. Friends saying the video quality is poor because I use an Android or poor signal. There's uh, spots of bad signal on the High Line. Usually it's the service. The service. I just had some buffering issues on the High Line. Alex E says he wonder how people feel about the walkway being so close by the wind. Boy, believe it or not. I'm determined to walk the length of the High Line, by the way, even with the spotty service. If it ends because of bad signal, know that it's the High Line and not me. But I do have my connection bonded. Hopefully it keeps up the signal as best it can. But today is not a great day for internet service especially Penn Station, Madison Square Garden area, Moynihan Train Hall, and over here. Shaba is saying I'm, a bunch, I'm around a bunch of metal and a bunch of different wireless services that'll cause all the issues. Yep. But 
Let's stop for a minute and check out the view here. I think this was the exit I took last time, or maybe it was the one before this. Yeah, it was the one before this. Monica, the High Line ends at Gansevoort Street in the Meatpacking District right next to the Whitney Museum of American Art. This is definitely one of the most unique park parks in New York City. The High Line. What are they doing now? Just K, you said they're thinking about extending the High Line to Penn Station. Yeah, I read about that. They want to extend it a few feet into Manhattan West, where there's a pedestrian walkway. That will be kind of cool to have an extension of the High Line. And to think this park was sitting unused for many, many years. People even wanted to get rid of it because it was just abandoned train tracks. I'm hearing some humming from this building over here. Kind of sounds like crickets a little bit, except it's more... It's uh, much more frequent. It's a beautiful view over here. I like this part here. Here you can see the old train tracks right in the middle of the pathway with all the lit up grass. It's 
to the side of me. Let's do some eavesdropping and look at some of these buildings. Got some fancy places over there. High ceilings, it's very bright. Looks like someone's having a meeting in that area. Kind of cool to come to the High Line at nighttime. Usually I come here during the day. I wonder if it's gonna be closed soon. Here's 23rd Streets. Get some great crosstown shots from here. That's yours. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if someone's left it. Someone left their camera on the railing there. This lawn seems like so mysterious at nighttime. Ian, you like the lighting of the High Line at nighttime? It's beautiful. Many people only come here during the day, but right now it just seems so peaceful. I remember making multiple, multiple videos on the High Line during different times, different seasons. During the summertime, it's always busy here. Springtime is busy here, but the wintertime, not many people come up here at all. And I would encourage people to come up here during the winter time because it's so much more tranquil here. There's less people and it feels more relaxing to be honest. Sometimes on a nice spring day, people will be back to back with each other here. But that was uh, pre-COVID as well when we didn't have to worry about occupancy limits and everything. Right now, I don't think people have to worry about that at all. You just come here and you have almost the whole place to yourself, except for a few people passing by here and then. Stop by our neighbor Chelsea Markets. That might be an idea because the Chelsea Market has some nice decorations inside. I wonder if they took them all down. Yeah. 
there you see the west side The east side is not as accessible. I can't really get a good shot of it. This part of the High Line is very nice because you have the tracks here run right in the middle of all these plant beds. What do we got here? There's a sign here that says underlying coffee. What's the underlying coffee? 20th Street under the High Line. I like the name of these places. By the way, take a look at that art gallery down there. Thank you so much, Laurie Snurm with $1.49. I appreciate it very much. This is the Bisaza Art Gallery down below me. All right, I'm approaching a lot of metal and glass with some scaffolding up ahead of me. So I think my connection is going to have some issues over here. Hopefully it doesn't. I remember coming here early last year and this was still like this with all the scaffolding. I wonder when they're going to be finished because this is so ugly. And I even remember coming here and I heard all the sounds of the construction. No way, you're kidding me. This residence has a private entrance to the High Line. Look at this. I would love to have a place over here. You get access to the High Line right here in a private building. They just extended the building over here and they have the entrance to the High Line. What a perk to have in a place. I think this is the first place that I saw that has a private entrance to the High Line. I didn't know they were allowed to do that, but hey, that's what it is now, I guess. To have a private access to one of New York City's um, most desirable public parks. I don't really notice any entrances on the other side though. Maybe this is gonna be the entrance over here. I don't think every building on the High Line should have an entrance. I was even shocked that one had one to begin with.
Porty is saying, wouldn't that make it easy for people to sneak into the building unless they have top-notch security? I mean, I guess the Kai line closes at certain times also, so that should probably keep out most troublemakers. But they do need good security. So this is one of the coolest sections of the High Line. You can walk down here and see an overview of the avenue looking northbound. We're going to go down there and look through the glass. I have a feeling there's going to be a great view down here. Ain't that something? This is so pretty. Let's change it to wide angle lens. Maybe we can see more. Simply D Beauty, this is 10th Avenue and 17th Streets. Go. We're going to pass the chatty group again. That's me. What's, What's up? up hey, didn't I pass you before with the yeah, camera yeah. on the ledge? <laughs> we were wow. Time lapse. And then I, I did like, that too when the, the sunset was going down. I was on YouTube. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's actually kid. <laughs> yeah. No, wait, it wasn't the sunset. It was sunrise. I tried to get in Manhattan Hinge, the sunrise going up in the morning. That's All awesome. Right. All right, man. They're doing a time-lapse video, something I've been uh, doing more of. I even made a time-lapse of my scooter ride to Chinatown. Wow, noisy path.
I know children will probably have a field day with that. Just Kate, you love the time-lapse scooter ride. Thank you so much. That's on my Action Kid Extra channel. I'm also gonna be putting a time-lapse video on it soon. Tomorrow of the Staten Island ride that I did. So if you haven't subscribed to my Action Kid Extra channel and you want to, be sure to check it out. Song Choi asking when I'm going by Macy's. I was just there earlier in the live stream. I didn't go inside though, but I was on the front and I saw the uh, Give Love Believe 2021 display. Let's look all around. Lindsay is asking if I've ever considered a second battery for a backup for my scooter. Unfortunately, that scooter model does not have a hot swappable battery. You can't easily change it on the go. But there's other scooters that do. But that battery would be very heavy just to carry along. Stevie asked if I've ever walked the perimeter of Central Park. No, I've never done the perimeter before. That sounds like a fun walk. All right, I think we can chill it with the High Line public private access right now. Candy Ballantyne, thank you so much with the 299 pounds. Uh, 14 streets. There's a car coming to hear all the noises. Beautiful.
Darrell saying, are they cobblestones? Well, when most people say they're cobblestones, that's the uh, social name for it, but they're officially Belgian blocks. Cobblestones are kind of more like the smaller ones. But in general, New Yorkers will refer to them as cobblestones, even though they're not true cobblestones. By the way, this is a very nice hotel here with a nice rooftop bar. I actually went up to this rooftop before. It looks very nice. I'm not sure how it works right now, but you can get some great views of New Jersey from across the river. SoCal Lawrence saying rooftop bar you say you're there and they can be open too because that's considered the outside and they can have outdoor dining Just Kate asking which hotel is this? I used to know the name of it. I don't remember off the top of my head anymore. But it's pretty fancy. Alright, I am almost to the end of the High Line. David, oh yeah, David, thank you for the clarification, it's the Standard Hotel. So we have reached the end of the High Line now at Gansevoort Streets. We are going to go downstairs now. And then head towards the Meatpacking District and Chelsea. So I hope you enjoy the trip on the High Line. That was a nice peaceful walk. Not flawless though because there was a lot of signal issues up here. Wait a second, this doesn't make sense. They should have switched the arrows because most people they walk on the right side. So dumb. Maybe they think we live in the United Kingdom where everything's reversed. Drive on the left side of the road, not the right side. All right. Simply D Beauty saying they're toying with our minds. Yes. There's also no such thing as anti-clockwise 
in American English, it's counterclockwise, among other things. Here's the high line from the bottom. These are high-end stores, by the way. How much does this bag cost? Wow. Vince. Very stylish. Here we got the standard hotel again from the bottom looking up. Simply D Beauty is that Vince Camuto. Sounds like it, right? Oh, here we have a more affordable brand, Vans. Oh, let's go across the street. We got the Tesla dealership. Tesla. electric vehicles. Laura's saying it's Mr. Musk in there. You mean the richest person in the world? Oh my gosh. Fancy cars. I'm like walking in the middle of the street just to get connection again.
right, hopefully no more connection issues now because I'm getting away from the high line now. Ryan Monroe, where is the Tesla showroom? It's on Washington Street and West 13th Street in the meatpacking district. Lynn's saying, who finds it interesting that the cobblestones are still there and intact and the asphalt has to repave over and over. Yup. Not the smoothest ride, but it's pretty sturdy. the M14D <laughs> Darrell saying try riding a road bike on those fronts they do it also and those are the real cobblestones Here we got the Apple Store. I like the Apple Store with these heat lamps, it feels comfortable. Maybe the iPhone 13 is going to be coming out soon. What do you think? The iPhone 13 is going to have like super crazy specs. All these tech companies are around here. Google, Apple, Tesla. Even Starbucks, it appeals to these tech companies here. Starbucks Reserve Roastery. Now, just a word of warning, I do have some internet connection issues in the middle of the Chelsea market. I know we're gonna have some issues. Well, they still have these all up. That's nice. All right, Chelsea Market still has got their stuff. Thank you, long story short, for two bucks. Hate to be super techy, but they look like Belgian blocks. They are Belgian blocks, but most people in the city, when they say cobblestones, they refer to those kinds of streets, but they're technically Belgian blocks. Here you can see the history of uh, the meatpacking district and the building. Old pictures of New York City. And this used to be the old use of the building, the Bisco Company, National Biscuit Company. That's what Oreos used to look like.
Maui 99 any food places in here there are all right Chelsea market is still decorated putting it down now I spoke too soon So Chelsea Mark is starting to get rid of the decorations. That's it. No more holiday decorations. Yeah, look at